one of the reasons why I really pushed my kids away from tennis is because I didn't want them to have to live up to sort of, you gotta be better than John McEnroe. So you have six kids of your own, three uh, from your first marriage, two uh, with your wife Patty and a stepchild as well. Um, how do you think your parents impacted how you are as a father? Well, I'm sure they impacted me in a lot of ways. My situation's obviously different. Um, I'm in a second marriage. Uh, my parents were together for 59 years. Um, times are different. With the day and age, unfortunately, with 9-11 and, you know, other things that have gone on, you seem to, you know, parents are more protective, I suppose. And maybe I was, in some ways, too protective with the older ones. And then less is, you know, it, 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 I was the oldest, so I know that you've got to be home at 10. Uh, and so you get to be looser as time goes on because you, re you realize that you've got to be able to be a little more flexible and maybe you don't have to be quite as, you know, intense about certain things. Uh, you live and learn and, and certainly um, it depends on the person you're with. It depends on, you know, with kids it's difficult, especially if you're in a relate, you know, you have kids that, you know, you, through a divorce and uh, if, if my stepchild, um, she, I met her when she was nine. Well, she walked into a situation where there was other kids already, and then she was the only one, as it turns out, of the six that I had that wasn't my blood kid. So, you know, that, you have to sort of try to think about that, how uh, hopefully I can try to treat her as much as possible as the same as all the other kids, and how is she gonna view it? How am I gonna deal with it? And then you have, uh, if your ex is telling them one thing and you're telling them another, and then they're getting conflicting messages. And even with your present wife, who, you know, I've been, I feel like I had this second opportunity that I was lucky enough to understand I shouldn't pass up on, and it's been, a, uh, I believe, a great thing for me. But we don't agree on everything. We don't agree on everything about how to raise kids or what to do, and so um, it's, I've learned that while um, my parents, uh, I believe, were good parents, really good parents, that by far and away, for me, the toughest thing I've ever had to do was to try to figure out how to be a good father, you know, and a good parent. There's nothing more satisfying but more difficult. Your son, Kevin, wrote a novel which had great reviews. Um, in some of the interviews he gave uh, around the novel, he, he made the comment something to the effect of that he felt like he struggled to live up to your expectations. How tough uh, was it for you to r read that? Well, it's, it's, it's tougher for me to see my kids feel like they have a hard time living up to my expectations. One of the reasons why I really pushed my kids away from tennis is because I didn't want them to have to live up to sort of, you gotta be better than John McEnroe. And in addition to the fact that it'll be, there's McEnroe's kid, how does he act? So I felt like, you know. And when your parents incredibly successful, regardless of the field, it probably has to be tough, yeah. I'm sure, you know, it's, it's I would l like to hope that it's a good problem to have, but I, you know, I don't think I was as, as sympathetic as I could have been. Um, How so? Well, because I try to treat them just like normal kids and, you know, try to be like, um, look, it's more good than bad. You know, you've got more opportunity than the difficulties, but I sort of didn't realize that can be somewhat overwhelming. And I think it continues to be in a way, you know, so I feel bad. But I mean, what I wanted to try to have the kids to have, like a fire in the belly for whatever they wanted. You want to write a book? Great. You want to act? Okay. Um, whatever it is you want to do, but you just got to go all in with it. Um, and so that's the part where if I feel like I could have done better, I could have figured out a better way to sort of get them to understand that and be more supportive and understanding of the difficulties it is to sort of live up sort of maybe if, he, if that's what he's feeling. I mean, that makes me feel bad that I would have liked to have hoped I could have done a better job parenting, parenting so that he would understand that that's not what I need from him. But probably also every parent probably would have, could have, should have, you know, oh, no, liked for sure. them. Yeah. You know, every day. Right. You know, every day you're making, you know, t you, you could go on and on. So, and then there's always the, how, how much are you going to push them? Uh, how much do they need to be pushed? Um, how much should you push them? Um, so this is, these are all the exact, exactly why to me, there's again, nothing more rewarding or difficult than being a parent. 